men's 55-meter dash, world and American record held by Lee McRae, the defending champion in the event, who will be running in lane four. Outside of him, at the far left edge of the track in lane six, is quadruple Los Angeles gold medalist Carl Lewis. And in this field, Evelyn, Carl Lewis is a dark horse. He certainly is. McRae has been running excellently this whole season, and so has Witherspoon. So Carl has his work cut out for him tonight. He could lose to McRae. He could lose to Witherspoon. He could lose to the man in lane three, Charles-Louis Seck of Senegal. He could lose even perhaps to the man in lane one, Lee McNeil of East Carolina. It's a loaded field, and there is the man who has been, along with Ben Johnson of Canada, the best indoor sprinter in the world this year. Johnson is not here. McRae is in the unusual role of being favored over Carl Lewis. He has upset him before. This time it would be an upset if Carl were to beat him. Carl likes the way he's been running as he points toward the outdoor season. Because he's so big and rangy, it just isn't as easy for him to get on track at 55 meters as it is for a runner like McRae. Yes, McRae is much closer to the ground. He doesn't have to exert as much energy as Carl does. Once again, Lewis is going to be at the far left of your screen in lane six. Witherspoon is just inside of him. McRae just inside of him in lane four. So you'd expect the race to develop on the left-hand side of the screen. McRae gets his usual rocket start, and he's ahead at the midway point. Now here comes Witherspoon. Carl Lewis at best third, and I certainly think that McRae held on for the victory against Witherspoon, though Witherspoon shows what kind of a sprinter he's going to be outdoors when he fully developed because he was closing ground toward the end. But another big victory. The young man is getting used to him. Lee McRae, the University of Pittsburgh junior from the state of North Carolina where he was a high school star and the secret. Five, nine and a half, 155 pounds. I think what you're running well indoors is a, a star. And McRae has that, no doubt about it. It's finished exactly the way uh, it has been finishing all season with McRae, Witherspoon, and then Carl Lewis. Now let's go down to Marty LaCorey with the winner. Yes, he was the winner. Lee, I've been in this position before. You set a world record last year in this short sprint, and uh, there were some comments after the first time you beat Carl about your start. I don't think there could be any doubt that the start was fair today, but you were out quick as usual. Well, uh, I've been working on my start, and uh, working on the first day stride my start, trying to get distance, and uh, generate enough problems to take me all the way through. You came out of the indoor season last year with a lot of confidence, and you ran well outdoors. What are you going to try and do this year outdoors? Well, I'm setting my times. I think I'm going to move up to 200 for the first part of the year and uh, get some strength work. And uh, hopefully I can maintain the 100 all the way through. That's going to be something to see you in the 200. And we'll enjoy seeing that back to Jim Lamprey. All right, once again, there's a look at Lee McRae as he powered toward victory over Mark Witherspoon, the second-place finisher, and Carl Lewis, third.